Well, welcome to um, BUA 321, which is Business Finance. Uh, I'd like to give you a, just a brief little introduction into, um, into the course uh, particular. Uh, let me make the screen just a little bit bigger so it's easier to see here. Whoops, wrong way. All right. There we go. That's a little easier to see. Um, so we're just going to go through. I want to talk in general about the course. You are uh, already in what's referred to as the Thomas More Learning Moodle system, which is our learning management system. Um, there will be a video following this one where you will be able to uh, um, see how you use this system. So it, uh, I refer to it as the course experience. So you'll be able to, I'll walk you through the parts so you'll see how the course ultimately um, um, unfolds before you as we're uh, working our way through, uh, through the course. So uh, Business Finance looks at the principles and theories of modern corporate financial management. So we're going to look at risk and return. We're going to talk about valuing securities and projects. We're going to talk about long-term financing and the financial environment in general. So uh, we have our uh, 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 we have a full plate. We have a lot of things to talk about. So I want uh, don't want to spend a lot of time in this introductory video. Uh, the textbook that we're using is a good book by Larry Gitman. Uh, you should have received a card with that book. That's the Pearson My Lab uh, add-in card. Again, there will also be a video that uh, walks you through the registration into that program or into that software package. So again, we'll use the Thomas More Learning System. That's what you're, uh, the system you're in currently. We're going to be assisted by this software package. And when you need materials for the class, you can obviously download them from this Moodle system so that you can have them in class. A laptop or some form of electronic device uh, is required for this class. Uh, if you don't have a personal version, uh, you need to borrow one from the library or from the computer center. Uh, if you're at the Blue Ash uh, facility, uh, you need to talk to the uh, the uh, uh, Ariana, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 CAP personnel there, Cape personnel there, that can help you. Uh, uh, get a get a laptop. If you're using somebody else's laptop, if you're borrowing another person's laptop or one from the school, make sure you have a flash device uh, or a flash drive so that you can save the work that you do uh, because you're going to be turning that in. And of course, we're going to use it throughout the whole semester. Uh, as far as your computing ability, uh, it's assumed that you have uh, some basic understandings of the use of, it, of an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, there's going to be an Excel spreadsheet for you to download and save. Uh, I don't have it here, but uh, I kind of thought it was kind of implied. You should know how to use PowerPoint and Word. Uh, uh, Word. Um, the basic Office tools and Office uh, Suite is what we're going to be using in this class. If you look at the course, 40% of the course will come from quizzes and exams. Uh, the individual homeworks, 25%. Uh, discussion papers uh, are 15%. Uh, we'll do some research for 10%. And then the attendance and participation in the class is another 10%. All the assignments are due midnight the day before the next class. So unless the instructor gives you some uh, additional deadline information, those are the due dates. Um, as we work through this course, there might be times where we don't complete everything within a session. Sometimes we will, uh, because of uh, the topic or uh, uh, just the need for discussion, etc., we're going to run over any assignment for any chapter is not due until that chapter is completed. So for instance, uh, uh, it says we're going to cover the first three chapters in the first session. It's very difficult to get the first three things done. We'll get two done and then the third one started. That means the assignments for chapter one and two will be due the next time and then 
we will move onward to chapter three and finish that the next time. Those assignments will be due uh, the week after um, or the time after that class. There is a study guide that's provided in the class. This is, uh, uh, is there to facilitate a couple of things. Number one, it's there to help you take notes uh, a little bit uh, more efficient and effectively. Uh, in addition, it's there to help drive discussion. Uh, it, is, uh, it gives you the finer points, the things that we're going to talk about in class. There will be problems that are on the page that will work in class. So you need to download uh, that study guide, have an electronic version available for you. And in addition to that, when we're done with the section, with the chapter, you're going to upload that to the instructor uh, via the uh, learning management system. So the notes, although the particular notes you take will not be graded, those notes will be uh, assessed and uh, you will be uh, given a grade based on your completion. The quizzes essentially you have around three minutes per question. Uh, all the exams can be completed uh, two times. The best score is going to count. Of course, you get to decide whether you want to take the, take the quiz twice or not. As soon as you've completed the test, you will get your score. And of course, you can review the questions at that time. Uh, the chapters are examined again after each one is completed. However, once you start the exam, the clock is running. They are timed. You cannot stop and come back. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time to complete the quizzes and the exams. Uh, usually there's a time limit. It tells you what time you have when you go to sign in. Uh, for most quizzes, although you rarely need it, um, you have 60 minutes to take a quiz. If you run into any kind of a technology challenge, you need to email the instructor as soon as possible so we can get that cleared up for you. The course format. Each chapter has a video, lecture, and PowerPoint presentations. There are also additional videos for, uh, uh, for you to view that could have additional uh, uh, instruction. They could uh, provide you with problem-solving tools, techniques. Um, each chapter has some Word documents that are going to contain the study guide, uh, any offline homework that's assigned, and of course the offline research assignments are going to be uh, uh, there as well. So all of those are within the uh, Moodle system. Again, we'll talk about that in more detail in a second. Uh, prior to the class, the way I would do this is prior to the class, you have to watch the videos and take some notes as you deem necessary. In class, we're going to complete the study guide. Uh, that guide's going to uh, develop the learning objective thought and problem solving strategy of the course. Um, there'll be some uh, in class solutions of homeworks from time to time. There'll also be some internet research that's going to be uh, approached and looked at uh, in class. So you need to have electronic access in the class in order to fully participate. Again, students are ultimately graded on their participation in classroom discussions. So it's your responsibility to be prepared. And again, just to kind of highlight what I think uh, you should do for this class is watch the videos first for each chapter prior to the class. Use the video PowerPoint uh, to take notes during that lecture while you're watching the video. After that, I would then go back and read the chapter and maybe fill in some blanks. Uh, come to class with electronic versions of the master study guides and the Excel spreadsheets so that we can complete them uh, during uh, the class time. Um, as I mentioned a little bit further, this is a little repetitive, but it's very important for this course. You're going to be called on to provide discussion in the class. Um, if uh, things are not going well and discussion doesn't seem to be uh, very heated, then uh, instructors will randomly call on students for answers. So uh, obviously unprepared students will be discounted uh, from the participation grade. Uh, you will get a grade for that. Every class is worth uh, 30 points. 
So you'll get graded every single class on your participation. So finally, uh, uh, if, if you have some issues with, uh, and you need some student assistance, if you have, uh, again, some form of learning disability, again, I don't want to harp on this very often, but uh, each instructor, uh, uh, we, for, for obvious reasons, we do not discuss a person's uh, physical or learning disabilities within the faculty. Um, so if you have an issue or a challenge, you must let the instructor know. Uh, this is particularly true with adjunct faculty since they don't have the access uh, um, to the student body like everybody else has uh, the regular full-time faculty. So um, if you need some assistance, you can contact Veronica Luby. Uh, she would be more than happy to uh, assist you. Um, again, this uh, is, includes those people that have been previously received some form of accommodation. Again, just to repeat, faculty don't talk to each other about these things. Uh, they are personal and uh, we, don't, uh, we prefer not to discuss amongst ourselves what's going on with respect to that. So please let us know if we need to help you uh, with the course materials. So that's the uh, basic introductory to the course. There will be further videos that you will see on this page. And I uh, assume that as you walk, work your way through this, you will um, uh, you, you'll get a great appreciation for financial decision making uh, as we explore the content.